Okay, yet another video. I'm using a Schaefer red pen, and I filled it with Delta red ink, and I'll draw. I'll draw a squished bug. Here's a doodle bug that's been swatted by a. No, I don't know what I'm gonna draw. I wanted to talk about ink color. I'm a black kind of guy normally. I like just dealing with the contrast, the full contrast one can get with inks. Um, just because, why not? You know, why would you settle for something else? Yes, color is very seductive. And it's nice to be seduced. I'm just thinking about when was the last time I was seduced. I think, I don't know if I can go think back that far, but color can be seductive and, but um, in terms of illustration to get the full, the greatest contrast of color and value, of course you want black ink on white paper or white ink on black paper, anything else any color on any other color paper is going to be less contrasty. That's obvious. Tell us something we don't know, Pierre. So, anyway, one of the things I do to, in my drawing and my, more importantly, in my calligraphic life, is to um, keep certain pens relegated for certain color and red pens are, I use for red ink, blue pens I use for blue ink and um, etc. more or less and um, so I figured I'll try this red pen out. This is a pen from the late 30s, made by the Schaefer Pen Company, and as you can see, it has a fine, somewhat flexible line, and I think it's kind of fun. Of course, how different is this from the other pens that I have been drawing bugs with? Well, I'm drawing in red ink. Yeah, I can see that. Well, how else is this different? Um, I don't know if it's really any different. The, the pen is smaller, it's thinner in my hand. Um, it, in a way, makes me feel that I'm more comfortable drawing slightly less aggressively than I would with a larger pen. I know you've heard me talk before about the size of pens and the way you use them. I don't think I've worded it quite like that, but that's a way to word it. Um, it's just, it is very true that um, a different uh, dimension or a length of a uh, pen uh, will make it easier for you to do certain things and um, maybe can push your hand in a certain way. Um, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time, which is always bad. Um, but just watch me, and if I think, if I say something interesting, I'll let you know. Um, or I won't let you know. You'll just have to figure out if it's interesting or not. Yeah, this this pen because it's thin and kind of short, 
it it is making me I'm holding the pen differently than I would if it were a little bigger and a little longer from my hand this pen is a little short I'll just say that it's a little short for my hand my hand would prefer a pen that's a little bit longer um, it's funny it feels better now I've made it shorter but I think it's it's this part right here that's hitting right there and making it's just it's there's something about it that doesn't work for well for me um, and that's one of the things about pens that are that you can't really no I need to have this back on my see I don't even know what the heck I'm saying have on there. They don't have little toes, they have little hooky things. Little. Anyway, this is a Schaefer <clears throat> pen. It has a somewhat flexible nib. It goes from fine, like that, to thick like that so a nice range not a wet noodle obviously it's not a wet noodle but it's a range that works very well when you're drawing bugs in red with red ink. Now it, this pen can can certainly draw in any color you like. I just happen to fit red ink in it because it's a red pen so I know if I suddenly have the urge to do my accounting and need red ink I'll grab this pen to show the losses. I, I have a, a um, what do you call it, oh, an order form for Waterman ink in it. It tells you that you could, you know, how much a bottle is, how much a quart is, how much a gallon is, a gallon of ink uh, was a certain amount of money. But they also sold red ink in barrels. And I was thinking, oh my God, if the Waterman Pen Company was sending a barrel of red ink to the Sears and Roebuck Company in 1930, something or rather, they better understand that that company's going under. A gallon of red ink to the accounting department to shave, you know, what? Would that be insider trading if a smart person in the Waterman Ink Department could divine the use of this, I guess it wouldn't be, just because he's smart doesn't mean he was told anything, right? I don't know how insider trading works. Anyway, a delightful little pen, Schaefer. Lovely. Lovely little bugs in red. <laughs>